What's up, y'all? Beyond the Harmony, beyondtheharmony.com. I am Cecil West with, of course. This is Jonathan Lippy. And I got a question of the day. It's I'm, I'm going to uh, switch it up on you, John. It's a question of the day, but it's kind of a new formatted question of the day I want to want to try out with you. And if this goes good, I think we're going to do this a few times. So you're going to have to pay attention to the rules a little bit because it's kind of a, a three-parter. And what yeah. I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a bone album. And what I want to know from it is what you think the best song from it is, what the most important song from it is, and what your favorite song is. You know on Beyond the Harmony, we promote you you using your mind and going with what you think. And just because something is the best doesn't mean it's your favorite. And just because it's the best doesn't mean that it was the most important track either. So you're going to have to really think about those. Those are the criteria. It, it, it may be as well. One song could be the best, your favorite, and the most important. So those are going to be the three pieces that we're going to use for this. You got any questions? Uh, no, I think I pretty much got that. I get it. I get it. Because uh, you got the best, you got the favorite, and you got the most important. And and while they you sound the same, they are different. So okay. Yeah. Let's roll. So but they but got. they could be the same. So we're gonna see. So. I, uh, we're going to see how this goes, and I think we just start it right where it all starts. It's it's one of our favorite topics of discussion. John, I want to know from Faces of Death what you feel the best song is, what the most important song is, and what your favorite song is. Well, Faces of Death. Well, <laughs> I mean, you know, it, there's really just one track on that album that matters, and that's Hell Sent. I mean, you... You could, as a hard hardcore fan, you can, you could rationalize this, but I think to the everyday consumer, if you had to sell them one track, if there was going to be a single, I'd say it's Hell Sent, possibly followed up by Full Motion, but that Full Motion beat's way too corny. So I'm, I'm saying Hell Sent's the best song of the album. Hell Sent's my, I guess it's my favorite song, although there is that one track. I think it's Everyday Thing where, where you realize that Bone had real rap skills not just tongue twisting skills but they understood the essence of rap that's what really blew my mind you know re-listening to faces of death i was like wow these guys actually knew hip-hop they knew how to rap before they had their their little niche with the tongue twisting but the best is 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 hell sent pound for pound the most important song is hell sent uh, pound for pound and my favorite if i had to listen to one of them it's going to be hell sent. It's not going to be plus the 40 ounce. It's not going to be death dick. It's going to be hell sent. So I'm going with hell sent across the board. Hell sent, hell sent, hell sent from faces of death. Those are my three picks. It's not glamorous. It's not thought provoking. It's just real. Yeah, I just want got. to know what, what, what makes hell sent in, in your opinion, the most important. The beat is is the best beat on the album. It's the it's the only beat that's still passable by today's standards. The the production quality, like the recording, the engineering of it, and also and I did I did a video on this too. I compared it. If you ever watched the the Bone Enterprise video I did about how I discovered Faces of Death, um, I compare Crazy Bone's um, cadence on Hell Sent on his verse on Hell Sent and compared it to his verse on Creeping on a Come Up. And it's the only track, in my opinion, on on Bone Enterprise that kind of matches the Bone Thugs and Harmony creeping on a come up flow. Um, you could say flow motion because they're rapping fast, but I think that's more tongue twist, like more like Das Effects and Fushnikins. Whereas Hell Sent kind of had that that choppy kind of style that you that is that is prevalent on creeping on a come up. And when I say creeping on a come up, I mean the song itself creeping on a come up. So I felt like Hell Sent was the most mature song, the best thought out song, uh, and it had a storyline to it. Not that storylines matter, because I like people just flexing skills anyway, but I think the storyline to the Hell Sent mattered. The sound of it, it was horrorcore. It, it, if you take the whole body of work, that one is still playable by today's standards, whereas the other nine, you have to take your mind back to 
to the recording practices of the time period to really appreciate it versus with Helson, I think it's I think it stands the test of time and can still be appreciated in present day. Hmm. Me and John don't disagree very much on this show. I, I feel like our tastes are are pretty similar. They don't usually differ that much. And and when they do differ, I'm like, well, there's a couple of years difference between me and John. So they're they're always pretty pretty close. And I I feel like you had some pretty good arguments there, bro, for for Helsen. And and Helsen, um, I mean, I think is a fan favorite from that one. And if we remember, I, I had a website called Helsen. That's so, right. Yeah. Wow. So it, it's, yeah. A, it's a good it's a good pick, but I'm about to fucking battle everything Johnny said. Here we go. Buckle up, kids. So I guess I'll give you let, let me give you what I feel the uh the best song is from from the record uh i feel the best song is everyday thing um and and they must have thought pretty highly of it as well because it it's the second edited track on the record uh we know those first two songs were edited because they were sent off to the radio stations and those were the ones that they picked as the single uh i i think everyday thing is just a it's it's a good track um for the time period and you know it, it's it's pretty catchy uh I, I thought it contained elements that just became like like you know bone you can kind of hear like busy bone and 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 hear what he would become in this whereas there's times on the on the record where it's kind of just like bone hadn't found themselves yet uh i i feel like there was elements on everyday thing that that did that and bone must have thought a lot about that um that that track so i think that everyday thing and and i mean they they can just rap on it you know it, it's it, it's a good it's a good track they they all do it uh, and and we know that just the terminology everyday thing became a staple in in bone thug culture, but I think that's the best one. The reason why I don't think Hell Sent is the best one, and I think Hell Sent a great song because you you got to look at you got to look at the context, right? They sold their soul to the devil, and fuck it, they want it back, and they went to hell. To try to get their souls back. That's 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 pretty deep, dark, fucking bone shit. But Brothers for the Struggle also had a song called "The Devil Came to Cleveland." Brothers for the Struggle <laughs> were on the same label, and yeah. the context of both of these songs are pretty fucking close, and yeah. the beats are both the same sample, and. Bobby Jones produced both fucking songs. Oh. So <clears throat> Hellsent is a pretty good song. And, I, and I'm not saying anybody stole from anybody, but I'm saying that there's a song out there that is so similar to it that I, I just can't say it because it, 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 it lacks the originality, whether it's them or whether it's Brothers for the Struggle. You got the Bobby Jones thing that ties them all together, the sample uh, that ties them all together. It really takes away from it being um, the best to me or the most important because Brothers for the Struggle is there with such a similar song. If you haven't heard it, look up Brothers for the Struggle. The Devil Came to Cleveland. It's the holy mix, and you're going to see what I'm talking about. So that is what keeps that away from it. Uh, the track that I do feel is the most important is Flow Motion. We know it to be the single, but more importantly, we know that Crazy Bones verse from that track is what he rapped to Easy E and what we believe is the verse that got them their record deal. So 
that has got to be the most important fucking song because it's the only one that is really close to the bone flow. And the bone flow is ultimately what got them signed and what we know. Flow motion has to be the most important. So that, that's yo, that, was, that was a thesis, bro. That changed mm. my mind. You are right. You're right about that, man. I, yeah, Crazy Bones, Buck, Buck, Bucking them once again. Suckers, they try to contend. Yeah, man, that, you're right. Full motion for sure on that. And I forget, you know what? So, w- once you brought that up about uh, Hellsend, I was like, oh, that's right. Brothers from the Struggle came to Cleveland. Yeah, good point on that too. And an everyday thing as well. Like, that's the one that I was saying. When I heard that one, I was like, man, these guys know about rap. They're not just some gimmick. And it's funny, too. You listen to Busy's voice on that song, like how how different, like it's it's the same, but it's 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 actually more aggressive even. It, I like Everyday Thing, too. That's probably my second favorite track yeah. on the album as far as I was going to say, like that one is probably the, the next. And actually, uh, Everyday Thing kind of feels like the prequel to Down For My Thing, at least Busy's performance. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, and now here's the kicker for you. I think the best song is everyday thing. I think the most important song is flow motion. My favorite song from the album without question is fucking hell sent. It's got a, a, a crazy storyline. Um, I think it, you know, is very memorable. I think when bone fans think about that album, I think that, you know, with everything that I just said, I think that that is probably, you know, if it's not flow motion, and I think a lot of people think of flow motion, um, but I, I think Hell Sent is number two. I think that is the song that, that people think of, um, you know, um, immediately. And, and you know, it goes with the cover. You got the Grim Reaper on the cover and the Faces of Death. And, and Hell Sent, even though it's not called Faces of Death, you almost feel like Hell Sent is the title track for this, you know, this album. So I, I think it is my, my favorite. Um, the, the best song overall to me though, I think is everyday thing and flow motion for everything that I stated is, is the most important from, from this album. Johnny picked hell sent across the board. And then it sounds like, did, did I, did I get you to do a switch up? Yeah, I'm switch. I'm switching on most important I mean, be, only because because what you said there is so true about about that Crazy Bones verse right there. That's probably the most important verse in Bone history. And <laughs> we don't even realize it. Like that verse is why we have Bone. At least that's the way the legend goes. And, you know, I wonder yeah. too, in, in terms of, of the whole 3 6, you know, because it has, Hell Sent has a 3 6 Mafia kind of vibe, like early on Mystic Styles kind of vibe to it. You almost wonder if. You know, if if they got hell sent from Brothers from the Struggle, because we don't really know who who got it from who. We know it's all Bobby Jones. But what if Brothers from the Struggle knew Three Six Mafia? Maybe they were the ones that went to Memphis and possibly heard Three Six and brought <laughs> that to Cleveland. And maybe that's the devil that came to Cleveland was the Mystic style from Three Six. Who knows? <laughs> I, mean, I like to think that Bone originated the style, but after we heard that beat from Brothers, who knows? It doesn't matter. We still love Bone no matter what. And no matter what, Crazy still had to deliver that freaking verse to Easy e for us to have a Bone Thugs and Harmony. So, yeah, I, I concede the most important track is, is Flow Motion. Probably pound for pound lyrically, uh, everyday thing, I would say, yeah, that's, that's probably the best. But Hell Sent is the gem that's remembered. You know, that if you had to take one, I think that's the one that people still take away. We could differ on that, but I think that's the that's the gem that people still look when no, they think I, of faces I, I agree. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I agree. I think I think like I said, it's not called it's the album wasn't called Hell Sent, but but I think Hell Sent is like considered the the title track. I think that's what in your mind you immediately go to if you don't go to Crazy Bones Flow Motion verse. If your mind doesn't bring you to Crazy Bones Flow Motion verse, I think the next thing it brings you to is Hell Sent. So, guys, those are our picks. Remember the rules. We want to know what you think the best song was, what the most important song was, and last, what your favorite song was. Leave that in the comments below. Don't forget to share this with another Bone fan so we can get all their picks. And we will catch you guys on the next one.